Oh, good morning. Good morning, my loves. I hope you are well. I'm smoking up in here. I went to my mum's yesterday and she gave me this beautiful incense and it's really beautiful, really strong, really strong, like smoking myself out in here. Um, okay. So ascension is what's happening at the moment. So for some of you, you may be finding that you are experiencing ascension symptoms and there is some beautiful light codes that are flowing to us and through us at this time. And this feels like quite a big, a big shift that a lot of us are experiencing. September is going to be quite an explosive month. And when I say explosive, I'm even getting in terms of weather. Now, I'm not a weather person. However, that's just kind of what I'm getting. But I'm getting that there is something about this energy where it's quite sudden. It's explosive. It is, it is changing states very, very quickly, very rapidly. And I feel like you've been in preparation for this. And I'm getting within the last couple of years. So whatever it is that you've been holding on to... And there's been that level of resistance over the last couple of years. This month is going to be the month where you're going to see some pretty extreme shifts, okay? And I was only having a conversation with one of my beautiful clients and my dear friend yesterday around what's taking place at the moment and collectively what we're going through. And it's around ascensions and awakenings yet the awakenings are somewhat feeling different this time versus other awakenings that we've gone through and dark night of the souls and and all of these beautiful experiences that we go through however this one feels a little different it feels like we're stepping now out of what we've been preparing so what we've been preparing for we're now stepping out of that resistance and we're stepping into embracing this unfamiliar territory but when i'm saying the unfamiliar territory there's also a knowing about it so it feels very unknown yet there's a lot of remembrance in regards to the direction that we're now taking taking steps towards so the other day i did a channeling of what i was being shown between the two paths right and i feel like there is a massive mass that walks a path that is very carved out and it's it seems very clear and there is a clear direction as to where it is going yet there are a smaller mass where they are taking the path of the unknown where there's there's bushes there's this there's that all in the way it's very unclear yet there's a knowing there's a knowing and there's a remembrance of this path okay that's what I'm picking up on very heavily. Um, you, could, you could be feeling at this time as well, especially as we're going through the ascension, you may be finding energetically, you may be finding physically in your body that there is a sense of heaviness and density. There's, there's dense parts that are coming to the surface and they're being shown in order to be cleared. Okay, because as your vibration is rising, as your frequency is rising and shifting and changing and leveling up, it can sometimes show certain parts of ourselves that we're needing to let go. We're needing to clear and transmute. It's transmuting the heaviness into the lightness. So you may be finding that this is something that you're going through at the moment as well. Um, also another message that I got came through yesterday is this is very specific if you are in a connection and if you are holding on to a connection that you no longer are certain whether you are wanting to be in or not. If you are in a relationship and you are holding on to it based on scarcity and fear and you are aware of it, this is something that's going to be shifting. There is something in regards to 
sitting in an older frame of mind or an older state that you may still be functioning from that is going to be released. Because sometimes when we hold on to someone or something because there is a fear of what comes next or a fear of hurting them or a fear of the unknown, you're not only holding yourself back, you're holding that person back or that experience back. So this is a time of deep inner truth and authenticity and being really honest with yourself are you aware that you're holding yourself back are you holding on to something that you know that that contract is done and are you holding on to this out of scarcity and fear because ultimately you're only hurting yourself and that person Okay, so I feel like this month's going to be a very big release, a very big release. And the reason why I bring that up and I use that as an example is because I am seeing this very strongly collectively. That even though we are shifting and we're going through these changes, there is still a grip. There is still a grip to certain things that you know is no longer aligned with you and you're gripping to it out of fear okay you will not take everything and everyone with you okay it just won't happen we move we move sometimes differently we go through our ascensions and awakenings at different phases. Doesn't mean that you're better or they're better or lower or whatever. It's just sometimes different. Okay? So if you're aware that you're going through this and your body could be talking to you, your energy could be talking to you, your surroundings could be talking to you, that it's time to let go. Pay attention. Okay. Because these are some big shifts. Big shifts that are taking place. Big shifts. Yeah. Let go. Okay. Anything else that we need to say? Is there anything else that we need to say? We've got safe travel that's come out. Intuition. Passion. Elixir of life. I love that. Elixir of life. And we've got the intuition card, right? This is some huge changes, huge changes that we're going through now. And it's a time of truth. It's a time of authenticity 